June D. dies, Las Vegas, Nevada, Easter Sunday morn. Early as I was prevailed upon to speak, long before I measured in time for this elegy to you, you must remember how you heard me from my tricycle bars predict my future. Look, Ma, no plans. <laughs> And remember how suddenly I was out of the grades, going through the rancorous days of junior high, beginning to spy with cool particularity the years of a more academic alienation than any student in the university of life could possibly imagine. <laughs> Later along with the contemporaries, I fell into the abyss of liberated gambling with otherwise apt computers, inspiring the realization that one does not have to sink into the deep Anson Island carpeting of casinos to experience a network of losses, just as I begin to feel your loss now. It was an Audubon invitation to a funeral attended by birds who no longer find ways towards any comparison to your wren-like disappearance. A mother who at the end patiently waited for the competent Faulkner to remove the spiked hood from her head, feeling perhaps she had less dangerous talons. So I offer here no talisman, no flight, no contrived sentiments, no grief therapy, no sympathy card hysteria, no open caskets, which would certainly be appropriate to the Easter dawn rituals of Irish agony. I swear you will still receive the lots of love cast at our past ancestors in relative slumber. And wouldn't it be just like you, June D, to from this moment on, win annual Mother of the Year awards during every subsequent Lenten Sunday morning of ironic resurrection. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> thank you for that affirmation. <laughs> <laughs>